Evening guys, how you all doing? Hope you're all well this evening. Thank you very much for once again joining me on the DJP83 Tool Channel. I hope you're all well this evening and I hope you're all looking forward to a great weekend. It's Friday night and the tool room is an absolute tip. Um, I've been trying to recycle some more bits of wardrobe into some actual usable uh, furniture and um, <laughs> I'm no carpenter, but uh, you know, I do my best and uh, I think my wife appreciates it. So uh, there we go. Tonight, I want to review some really cool tools for you guys. Okay. Um, now here's the story of where we got with this. Okay. So I'm driving along in my van today and I see a tent outside in Edmondson Electrical. I think, ooh, what is this? What is this tent I see? So I pull up and I have a look and it is the guys from Armeg. Okay, Armeg Tools, and they are doing a bit of a presentation and doing a bit of a, you know, a bit of a, a bit of a show for all their tools. So I go over and I have a look, and I think I have a little chat to these guys. I had a chat to a, a very nice bearded man from Sheffield and a, a very nice non-bearded man, not from Sheffield, but yeah, really nice guys. Um, I told them about my little tool channel that I was trying to build up, and they gave me some of their tools to review. Now. Armeg guys, I'm no stranger to Armeg. I've had um, their tool bag before. I've had their 18 inch tool tote and it was a great, great bag. I had a lot of respect for it. It was abused like hell. I didn't really use it as I should have. I kept overloading it and lugging it around and chucking it around and, you know, really just quite abusing it. And um, it just lasted. It lasted and lasted and lasted. And in the end, the handle, as all these tool totes go, went a little bit wobbly. And I kind of got rid of it before it broke. But since then, I've given it to my brother-in-law and he's still using it every day. And, you know, he keeps his tools in it and it seems to be still going. So, um, you know, power to arm egg there. So, um, yeah. I'm really, I was really pleased with that, and so I went and had a look at these Armeg tools, and you know what, guys? These Armeg guys are making some ingenious inventions. They're thinkers. They, you know, they think of a problem that, you know, these little things that bug us all. And I'm going to tell you about this later now. These little things that irritate us all when we're trying to work, and these little things that make our jobs out a little bit more irritating, and they think of solutions to it. And I've seen today loads and loads of great solutions, and I'm going to give you a little hint here. Okay, you're drilling through some wood. You hit the nail. How annoying is that? I'll make the solution, okay? You, uh, you know, you're drilling, you're drilling a hole with a hole saw and your piece of plastic or your piece of wood or whatever gets stuck in the hole saw and it's really irritating as heck. I'll make the solution to that, okay? So hopefully we'll be looking at some more I'll make things over the next coming weeks, you know, and the next couple of coming weeks and months. There's certainly going to be tools that I'm going to be adding to my tool collection. Um, yeah, they're going to sit in with the Nipex, they're going to sit in with the Weirers, they're going to sit in with the clients, and you know what? They're going to hold their head up high and they're going to be proud to be there, and I'm going to be proud to have them there because these tools are little genius things. Now, this isn't going to be anything to do with Makita or Weirer or screws. Well, it is going to be to do with screws, but it's more to do with these. Look at them. Now, people are going to say, what are they you have in your screwdrivers? Well, these are these, okay? These are the Armeg PZ2 Tic Tac Mag Bits, okay? Now, you can get Armeg stuff from CEF, City Electrical Factors. You can get Armeg stuff from um, Rexel. You can get Armeg stuff from... Um, yeah, um, yeah, lot, lots of different electrical, electrical um, uh, retailers. Okay, you can get you can get your arm egg stuff from them. Um, like I say, um, I already mentioned Edmondson Electrical as well. Another big retailer in the UK. So there's plenty of places you can get these arm egg bits from. You can get them from the retailers online as well, and these are great. Okay, now let's start with um, the, the box. Actually, I'm going to start with. It looks just like a plastic box to the naked eye, but it is actually a really nice quality little box. And it's ideally designed, you can just you know, fit it in the side of your tool bag and you've got them there, okay? Now, these come in all different shapes and sizes. So, you know, they come in um, different tips. They come in, um, you know, your posies. They come in your Phillips. You know, they come in your, to you come in like T20s, whatever you want really, and they do these. And they come in packs of six, okay? So they're designed to last and you can put them in like different uh, different machines that I've got now. And anything like this, you know, which will take one of these in the end, um, you're going to find one of these bits in you now because I am so impressed with them. I've used them to death today and I've tested the life out of them. 
and already I can see they just make those little things in life easier, okay? Now I work with alarm panels all the time and you can guarantee that if you've got an alarm panel, the customer's always gonna put it above the bin, okay? And that bin's always gonna be full. So you're screwing your little screw out and you're relying on that tiny little bit of, uh, you know, that tiny little bit of grip it has from your little magnetized screwdriver and you can guarantee it's gonna twist and it's gonna fall and what's gonna happen, it's gonna go in the bin. Not cool, guys. Not cool to go in the bin. And you're never going to find that screw. So you're rummaging around all your screws trying to find a suitable screw for an alarm panel. Well, these guys today single-handedly have solved that problem for me. Okay. So it's a little box. They're quite cool. You push this. You might need a little draw. Okay. They do come in a pack of six, as I said. Well, there you are. Four, five, six. And I'm going to show you these. Now, the genius of these is that... They don't rely on a bit of magnetism on your actual uh, bit there to stick to the screw. They rely on the magnetism in the ring around the screw. So the larger part of metal area is covered. It's just common sense, really. I don't know why no one else has thought of this before. Um, if they have, I apologise, but this is the first I've seen of it. Um, and you've got a really good little magnetic ring around there, okay, which actually sticks to the large part of the screw. So the result of that is it holds the screw in far, far better, okay? And so when I take my screws out of the alarm panel, they don't fall on the floor. They don't fall in the bin. They don't land on something nasty that someone's left there earlier. And it's the way he's machined as well. You can see they're just really nicely etched there. Okay, um, it says clearly, if I can actually turn the thing, there you go, it says clearly what they are, they're really nicely etched, I even like the font actually, and you know what, they just make your tool look cool, um, they just, you know, your mates are going to say, oh, what's that you've got on the end of there, you know, and you can show them and you can dazzle them with the coolness of it, okay, let me give you an example of this, okay, so, if I want to take a normal screwdriver, now this ain't any rubbish screwdriver, okay? This is the uh, Vera uh, laser tipped uh, PZ2 screwdriver, okay? They're renowned for being good, these laser tipped screwdrivers. And I'm just going to show you the problem you have, you know, when you try and screw something into wood. Now we've all done it, guys. Oh, and there you have it straight away. We've all done it. We've all been lazy and we tried to screw something into something. And we don't bother making a pilot hole for it first, do we? Take two. So we press down as hard as we can, but it's wobbling like heck. And we, we try and turn it, and it's wobbling. And oh, look, I fell, and I've, my face has smashed into the, into the table, and I've, you know, I've killed myself. So it's not, it's not cool, is it? Okay, slight exaggeration, but you know, it's not cool, is it? It happens all the time, doesn't it? And I know you shouldn't really be screwing screws like that, but, you know, we've all done it. And, you know, just to show you this... What this can actually do now if you look at the end of this instantly you link this up to this okay and click it clicks on straight away all right now just to be fair i'm going to turn it off ratchet and now look at this you've got it's wobbling so you can twist it down if you want to but it's not the problem there's the other. So it will twist and fall, but it stays on the screwdriver. The screw doesn't bounce there, so if it does fall, it stays on the screwdriver. Okay. I'll just pull it out. Sorry, I can't do this with one hand. Let me just pause the video. Right, and now, okay, so if you're careful, you can actually start screwing this in. And, you know, it's not too much effort, and it's actually starting to bite. And you've not lost... That screw. So if you're an idiot with it, and there you go, in it goes. Now, I really struggled to do that with the other one, okay? So, as I showed, you know, you can just be an idiot with these and just screw them like this, and this will handle it. Now, my other screwdriver, just one-handed like this, not holding it down, just couldn't handle this. But, you know, I'm holding this with one hand. I've turned the ratchet off. If you want to put the ratchet on, you know, it, it makes it a lot easier as well, again. So, you know, and then you can pull it off just as easily. So you can see how it makes a task. Even if you would just want to be stupid with them, you know, it's a nice, easy task. Um, if you want to pull it out, you know, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to lose your screw either. Um, you can stick it on the injured impact driver. Okay, bam, straight on, no problem. Um, and again, you can just be an idiot with it. 
move it around like that and bend it and then you can just click it back into place see bend it around just click it back into place see just stays where you want it no matter how much you wobble it around it doesn't fall off see and then you can just start in it goes nice no issue so I can see that, you know, I was being an idiot with it then. I was, I was, you know, pushing it on the floor, pushing it over, pushing the screw, wobbling it around, and it just didn't fall off the end. You could just, you know, without even touching the screw, you could see umpteen times, one after the other, I could just wobble it back onto the screw. So if you're doing that in a wall, or if you're doing that where you shouldn't be doing it, you know, in a, in a way you shouldn't be doing it, you're not going to lose that screw all the time. You know, how many times, when I was deliberately wobbling it around there to make it fall off, how many times would you have lost your screw in a normal situation without one of these? You see what I mean? It's it's just a great little tool. Um, and I think, you know, it just proved that with the amount I was wobbling it about. Not once did I actually lose that off the end of it, and not once did I have to get my hand in and adjust the screw with my other hand. I just had my tool, just wobbled it around, so if I've got something in my other hand, I'm just using the impact driver one-handed, you know, I could just do it, no issues. And again, you know, you put it in your drill, no problem, anything it'll fit in. And these tools are all designed to fit with the ends there in your impact driver, okay? Great little tools, great invention. So I love these. Now, the best thing about these is, now, we all like Weira, we all like Nipex, we all like the German tool manufacturers, you know, and they're great. What we don't like is the cost, okay? I mean, you can pay quite a lot of money for, you know, a set of bits, which quite frankly isn't very good, okay? Um, I mean, they're just not really good. I mean, yeah, something like this. Now, I'm not picking on DeWalt particularly here, okay? They're, um, you know, they're no worse than anyone else, but this is just the first thing I had to hand. You know, you can buy a big pack of these with, with all these bits in, you know? And, you know, you can pay a decent amount of money for these. Um, and, you know, they're just, they're just not very good, are they? You know, they for something like that, if I tried to wobble, you know, my driver around with one of those DeWalt bits in it like that and wobble the screw off, I'd never get that screw back in place. The screw would just fall in the floor, that's it. And you're just picking it up, picking it up, and you're just getting really frustrated, okay? These just solve a lot of problems, and they just make your life easier. Um, you know, no matter how stupid you're being with them, you know, I deliberately picked a way there where I was just using the tool like I shouldn't be using it at all, you know, ideally you drill a nice little pilot hole and it would go. And, you know, even with that, I could still adjust it and just drill and just screw it in like I needed to. I'm ranting on now, aren't I? But I really do like these bits. These are great. Get these bits because here is what comes down to it. These are about a tenner, give or take, about a tenner for six. Great little tool. Okay, I think uh, at the moment on the CEF website, they're about £10.40 for these. So yeah, absolutely brilliant little tool. Get them, just get them. If you're in the UK, go to any of your retailers, go online and get them. If you're not in the UK, go online and get them, okay? These are, these are the things to have now, and all my tools are gonna be sporting one of these bits on the end now, because, you know, they're just so much more useful than anything else, okay? So that is my little say on the Armeg Tic Tac Mag Bits. Great invention. Well done, Armeg. Kudos. Now, you've all heard me banging on in some of my videos how good my PTI knife is, okay? Um, I think it's really well made. Um, one thing I would say, it's difficult to open with one hand when you try and film. But, you know, I've been really impressed with this knife. Um, and I didn't think I'd find one that I preferred to it, okay? But more and more recently, I've been sort of leaning towards the more traditional sort of metal chunky knife. You know, sort of like your Stanley 99E sort of, you know, style knife. And I bought one from Klein the other day, and you saw my last review on it, and I said, it, it was okay. You know, I didn't like the fact that the blade went in and out. You had to hold the blade in constantly, and, you know, the blade went in um, you know, as soon as you took the pressure off. I got it, it was a safety knife, but when you're just using it in everyday use, it's a pain. You don't want it to do that. You just want your knife to stick out, you know, and you want your manufacturer to trust you to use a knife because you are a tradesman. So, you know, you should be a good boy and use a knife. Now, I've got this blade on this one as well. So this is like a double knife. So it's kind of still going to have its place, but I have actually now removed it from the main toolbox and it's gone into my reserve toolbox, okay? 
or tool bag, should I say. And it's been replaced with this. This is the arm egg knife. It's chunky, it's heavy, it looks kind of overweight, and I love it. I love the rubberized, um, you know, the, I love that they haven't just made it metal all the way along, like say Stanley 99E, and I love that they've actually thought to put an ergonomic rubber grip on the back. So it feels nice and chunky in your hand. The last thing you want to do with a knife is drop your knife, okay? When you're using it, or for the knife to slip out of your hand, that's how accidents happen. I think I've been on a, you know, I think I've been on a trip to A&E because of one of these, and I'm sure we've all had at least a nasty cut off one of these, okay? But this is just really nice and chunky. It's weighty, it's grippy, and you know, just the general ergonomics of it, I love. I love that it's got a tethering point on the back, which is nice and strong, so you know, you can work on it, on it with height if you need to. Just put your tether on it, it's not gonna drop on someone's head because this falling from height is gonna be heavy. Um, the simple little things in life are great. I love that it stays out when I actually put it out, unless I tell it not to, okay? And you can lock it in, uh, you know, various different positions there. You can lock it like that, uh, all the way out, or you can have it sort of just part way out and lock it in place there. Okay. Now it's got um, a button here, so you can easily just. I'd be careful not to cut myself here. Again, it's one-handed operation. Yeah. So you can just flick this out. Okay. Um, and flick it back in if you want to. And then the blades are actually kept in the side here. Okay, you can put them in the side. How cool is that? Well, why is that cool, Dan? Why is it cool to keep the blades in the side? What difference does it make? Who cares if the blades are kept in the side of the knife? You can just put them in the back, can't you? Well, I'll tell you why it's cool. Watch this. So I pull it back and I push it. Oh, look at that. I got another blade. How cool is that? Okay, I don't want that blade anymore. Now let's just, let's just take, take this blade out, okay? Now you can turn your blade around and put it in the other way. And I said, oh no, my blade's fell out, okay. Oh, I got another blade and I haven't done anything. How cool is that? This is genius, love it. It just makes your life, again, our Meg have just made my life easier. You know, I don't, you know, okay, it's fairly easy to change a blade on a knife, yeah? But, you know, sometimes you don't want, you know, you can keep all your blades in here and you're in the middle of a job and you're trying to do something. You don't want to go faffing about pulling your blades out of the back there and, you know, they all tend to stick together for some reason and then load them into you, you know. This, you think, all right, crap, I've done my blade and, you know, I broke my blade and just go, okay, flick it out. New one, brilliant. You know, they're just these little things that just make your life easier, aren't they? We've all snapped one of these blades and been a bit irritated by it. So you can just press this. I think my tool bag's collapsing on me here. I think it's jealous, it wants to be in the shot. Yeah, Klein's trying to get itself back into the shot. It doesn't like it's being, uh, it doesn't like that it's having uh, other tools being praised here. But yeah, this is great. I love everything about this knife. As soon as I had this knife, I actually said to the rep, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I've got to get, I've got to have one of those. And, and he gave it to me and he said, you know, go and go and review this as well, you know. Nice little things about it as well that you don't find other knives. You find inside, like the blades are all greased nicely in there. So, you know, all the parts inside are greased nicely, so, you know, it's not going to wear out. But I just love the weight of this knife. I just love the feel of this knife, the way it fits into my fingers and feels right. And just the self-loading blades, they are just brilliant. I mean, why isn't everyone doing that? It's just genius. So, yeah, that is the Arm Egg Knife. Now, uh, sharp-wise, I mean, it's... I'm not going to talk about the blades, I mean... You know, your knife's as sharp as the blade you use, okay? Buy a nice, decent quality blade and put it in, and the knife will be sharp as anything. There's no movement on the blade or anything. It's nice and strong. Um, you can put it part way out like that if you want to, and put it long ways out. The blade's nice and strong. There's no movement. It doesn't feel like it's going to break, you know. Um, you know, that's just made quite a considerable mark in my table there um, because it's a good, strong knife. You know, the handle feels strong. It doesn't rattle. So you can't get anything from that, whereas most, a lot of these knives will rattle about. It's just a very well-built tool. And, you know, from what I can see, Armeg are very well-built tools. And, you know, they, they, they've, they've flown under the radar a little bit in some ways. I know their drills, their drill bits are very, very popular, especially their circular, uh, their, um, their, um, 
they're whole sores, so they say. I know they're very, very popular. I was talking to um, actually a guy in CEF the other day, and I was asking him about our Meg tools and how well they sell, and he was saying about the, 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 the whole sores are incredibly popular. People come in and they ask for them, and they say, oh, I want those red ones, you know, they always have. So they go in looking for these tools. So people who've experienced our Meg tools, they're instant our Meg fans from what I can see. So, yeah. Um, if I have a bad arm egg tool, I'm going to say it's bad, but I've not come across one yet. I've had a really good experience with the tool bag. Love these bits. Um, you know, I've shown you me being a complete idiot with these and just being able to pick up the screw no matter what I do with one hand. And I love this. I love this knife, you know, um, really great. So, guys, get onto uh, your CEF website, you know, get onto, you know, whatever website you want, uh, Edmondson, Electrical, get onto, you know, your Excel website and look at these tools because they're great and you know get yourself some Armeg tools and just try them out honestly you'll not regret it and uh, I think you'll be a you'll be a raving fan um RRP on the knife uh not quite out yet um but I can tell you it's certainly not going to be as expensive as uh you know your other leading brands which are very overpriced should I say um I remember, and you know, it's not a shame to say, I remember, you know, saying about that Klein knife that it was, eh, you know, it's all right, but it was like £27 odds plus VAT, and it really, really, in my opinion, was not worth that. Okay, this, if this would came out at £27 plus VAT, yeah, I would. It feels a better quality, it feels heavier, it works better, it's just better, and I'd be like, yeah, you know what? I don't regret paying £27 plus VAT for this knife. And I don't think it's going to cost that much, okay? I mean, the RRP hasn't been released on it yet, but I don't think it's going to cost that much because it doesn't say Klein on it, okay? Simple as that. Um, and I'm not knocking Klein. Klein makes some great tools, but whatever tool you buy, be it good or bad, it's going to cost a lot of money, okay? Um, so, yeah, this is the Armeg knife and the Armeg PZ2 mag bits. I know um, Armeg are going to be watching this video, so, you know, I'd really love to uh, actually review some more of their tools and i just hope they're all as good as these ones um i've seen some stuff i'm really interested in reviewing uh when i was talking today and uh yeah they look great um so hopefully on the tool channel uh fingers crossed we'll see a lot more make tools we'll see you know a lot more um a lot more of their uh you know their labor saving and you know problem solving ideas and um yeah i'll give them a clap i will give them a clap except i'm holding my phone so uh you know i'll just uh tap my hand there um but yeah they, they've done well they've done well here and i'm very impressed so guys our make tools new kid on the block who've been out for a while but as far as i'm concerned new kid on the block and uh check them out get on the websites check them out i hope guys you've enjoyed this video um i'm sorry it's been a bit long i've just realized we're just knocking over 23 minutes here i hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe to my channel please guys and please comment i really like talking about tools i really like your comments and um Again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great night. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you on the next video. Night, guys.